We're in one of the sample rooms here at Diane's studio where a lot of creative thinking happens every day and a fair amount of math problem solving too. It's the perfect place to start and I'm here with our aspiring costume designer Drew who's brought that impressive drawing of his warrior monk cape. He's measured everything in the drawing, but it's now it's time to make it real. We want to know how he can make a life-size pattern for his cape based on his drawing. So Drew, is there anything more specific we need to know about your design before we create the pattern? Yeah, my cloak has two sides to it. The okay. outside is more formal and is sort of the function is to protect the monk from the weather, so it's heavy and warm. Um, the inside, though, is uh, it, it's got earth tones, so it's camouflaged. So if the monk needs to, he could just reverse his cloak around and disappear into the landscape. So it's reversible? It is reversible. And it requires two different conceptualizations of pattern? Yes. Okay, well that's very good to know. It's very specific information. Thank you very much. Good. I've enlisted my good friend at Scholastic, math expert Kim Egan, to explain how to use scaling to find the new dimensions. And I've asked Project Runway Season 11 designer Samantha Black to construct all of our students' designs. All right, Kim, you were a former math teacher. Show us how to make it work. I sure will, Tim. So Drew, the first thing we'll have to do is determine the ratio of the length of the torso in your drawing to the length of the mannequin's torso. I can see that the length of the torso in your drawing is four inches from the hip to the shoulder, and the length of the mannequin's torso is two feet or 24 inches from the hip to the shoulder. 24 divided by four is six. That means that everything in your drawing is six times smaller than it will be in the pattern. So that's a ratio of one to six. The length of the cape in your drawing measures four and three-fourths inches. The neckline is four and one-eighth inches wide, and the hemline is six inches wide. We can use the ratio one to six to find all of the measurements for your warrior monk cape. So far, so good? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, good. Now to use the ratio one to six to find the measurements for your pattern, we multiply each of the measurements from the drawing by six. Again, those measurements are four and three-fourths inches, four and one-eighth inches, and six inches. When we multiply each of those measurements by six, we get a length of 28 and one-half inches, a neckline that is 24 and three-fourths inches, and a hemline that is 36 inches. So Samantha, who is building your costume, Drew, will design a pattern in the shape of a trapezoid that is 28 and one-half inches long, has a neckline that is 24 and three-fourths inches, and a hemline that is 36 inches. And that's how to make it work. Back to you, Tim and Drew. Thanks, Kim. You made the math work flawlessly. Next up, Jesslyn and Robin have some choices to make that will require some critical math thinking. To do that, we're going to visit one of my favorite places in the city, Mood Designer Fabrics. From fabrics to trim right down to buttons, they have it all. 